Hello everyone, welcome to another episode. Uh, before we start today, just a reminder to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification so you know when we post our next video. Um, in this episode, I know it's been a while since we have posted another video and that is because I like my external hard drive crashed and I had already pre-filmed, I guess pre-filmed, pre-recorded a bunch of the videos so I had to do some moving around of stuff and resetting things and it was just, it was a huge mess. So we finally got our life back together um, and then Princess Cora, oh sure, take the training. Um, so we finally have our life back together. So in the last episode we had Princess Cora go on her first date with Prince Edmund of Willow Creek um, and then a few episodes before that we had Princess Alice go on her honeymoon with Prince Henry. So they went on their honeymoon. We tried to get pregnant. Oh, want to go to the lounge? I'm um, not right now. Um, so they tried to get pregnant. So we are about to see if Princess Alice is actually pregnant. We had a whole episode uh, in between this. I don't even know if she's pregnant. I have a feeling she is because I think she had to throw up, but I don't know if she actually did. So why don't we just take a pregnancy test and find out? She was swimming with her mother-in-law, Queen Isabel, who is now an elder, and honestly, she looks amazing for an elder. I was not expecting this, but it's just a beautiful family. I only hope that my family would ever look that good. I don't look anything like them, so probably not, but it would just be amazing. So um, she's now an elder, and then King George doesn't have too much longer to live, to be honest. I even got a notification saying that he's almost at the end of his life cycle, I guess. Um, so we're about to see if Princess Alice is pregnant. Why don't we? Oh, yes, she is. It looks like she is. So we are going to have, hopefully, an heir to the throne. So that will be amazing. So we definitely have to celebrate. I think we're going to invite just a few people over. I was debating having, because I've had this baby shower mod, I was debating doing that. It just, mods slow down my game a lot. I am getting a new laptop soon though, so hopefully, I mean like soon, soon, probably in a few months, but um, hopefully that will be pretty soon, so that way I can do some more with this. We can have more mods. That would be amazing if I could have more mods. That would just be fabulous. So, all right, so I'm gonna have her change her outfit because she's walking around in her bathing suit and sunglasses and everything. I kind of wish she wasn't wearing that when we found out she was pregnant. I like the picture of it, but I can't see her face because she's just wearing sunglasses. So she is talking to the butler. She should probably introduce herself since she lives here now. So we'll do a polite introduction. It's nice to be friendly with your butler because they are doing stuff for you after all. You have to trust them with your life. So he's been our butler for a really long time. I mean, I'm pretty sure since the, the kids were kids. So, and I don't think he's aged at all, so I don't know what's going on. Maybe he's a vampire. I don't know. I don't think so. I guess we'll have to see if he ever does age up. What is he? Is he? He's an adult. He might have been a young adult when he started. I'm not 100% sure. So we are going to invite a few people over just for a small little get-together. Um, I'm trying to think of what else. Do we even want to like make it an official event? I guess we could. Uh, yeah, we'll make it a, a small, 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 small event. So like just her parents probably and her brother and maybe just like a few close friends and family. Um, but I mean, I really don't think they need to invite that many people. They really are just, they, they don't need to celebrate too much. We don't need like a huge baby shower. So, oh yeah, and what I was saying about the mods and stuff is that like they just slow down my game, custom content and stuff. So I would really like to get a new laptop so I can finally do mods and custom content because it would be nice to actually have crowns and tiaras. So I used to do that, but it just slowed it down way too much. So I had to turn it off, unfortunately. So we're going to do a dinner party. Should we do a charity event? I don't think she's, uh, I don't know. Why don't we check her rank? Um, I mean, she's level five. Does she need to, no, she just needs to secure votes. She doesn't really need to do any, any donations yet. So that'll be another day. That'll be closer to when they are going to be king and queen, which actually will probably be one day soon because if the king... 
doesn't live too much longer, they're probably going to do some sort of coronation ceremony soon. I'm still trying to figure out how we would do that exactly. I don't know if we, I mean, it, I guess it could be a charity event because then, I don't know. I, I'm just thinking like it would just be this huge thing and then you want people to, to donate because it's the new king and queen and all this stuff. Or we could even do like a fan meet and greet. We'll have to see. I'll think about it. Um, okay, so dinner party, and then we just want to invite a few people over. But the host is going to be Princess Alice and Prince Henry. It could actually also be them too, the king and queen, because it is their palace technically. So we're going to have Princess, Al uh, Princess Cora and Princess Anna be guests. And then we want to invite, we want to invite our cousins, of course. And our aunt and uncle, King Easton, and, um, I don't know where Queen Arya is. She's not on here. That Queen Arya is Prince Henry's aunt because that is King George's sister, but I don't see her on the list. So maybe she doesn't really know her yet since she's the one putting on the event. But we also want to invite, of course, our father, or her father, um, and then the king and queen, so her mother, and then... Prince Edmund. I have no idea what he's wearing, but yeah, we need to invite Prince Edmund. And then we, I think that's, that should be it. That's about, that's about all we need, I feel like. Okay. And then a caterer for the dinner party. We do not want to ask a noble or royal person to be a caterer. That probably wouldn't be the best idea. So we can have everyone come over to the castle. I guess it's a little bit early for a dinner party, but that's fine. And now everyone is missing work and school. So hopefully that's okay and that won't be too much of a big deal. King George still made a ton of money though. Of course, because he's the king. Oh, gosh, imagine making thousands and thousands of dollars a day. That would be wonderful. Okay, so it looks like Princess Anna, did it say she fell into the responsibility tree or she fell out of it? Um, all right, well, she's a B student right now. I think her parents would probably reprimand her for being a B student because she should be an A student. Okay. Um, mm, no, I thought it's... Oh, okay. She fell out of the range to earn responsibility. Well, shoot! Probably because she missed a little bit of school. She's turning into an adult soon, so we need to change that. So, let's see. Is Did she technically really even do anything for them to reprimand her? She encouraged, no, not really, forced to, forced to do homework. Why don't, yeah, why don't we force her to do homework? Forced to do homework. Even though it's a party, they're saying that you did not get very great grades last time, so you need to change that. So they're kind of giving Princess Anna a hard time, just because Princess Cora was just, um, she's amazing. She's just so responsible, and, and she got really great grades all the time so Princess Anna does have a lot to work towards um, and to live up to so I'm going to have Princess Cora change her outfit though because she doesn't need to wear this she's she looks so classy in a suit jeez okay so why don't we say hi to our guests oh it's a dinner party thank fans for coming really or even like just a regular dinner party okay I guess that's fine. It looks like Queen Isabel and Princess Anna. Ooh, she is enraged. She might even end up getting the jealous trait. Should we try to calm her down? Oh my gosh, she is doing her homework right outside. She is throwing a fit. She does not want to do her homework right now. Oh, poor Princess Anna. She just can't catch a break. Okay, so <laughs> she's still in the bathroom with, oh, yep, with our butler. So, why don't we thank him? Oh no, he's not a guest, so we can't technically thank him for coming. We should ask him to make a group meal, because the caterer really just takes forever to make a group meal. So why don't we do that? Okay, why don't we do butler, assign task, <laughs> burn up the dance floor. That would be a great task for a butler. If I were a butler, I would want the family that I'm working for to tell me to just burn up the dance floor all the time. Okay, so cook a party meal. Because we are getting hungry. Um, we need... Where are all of our guests? Are they not here yet? Of course not, because they take forever to get here. Why do her eyes look scary? 
one. They look really scary. I don't know why. Okay. Why don't we go downstairs? All of our social events start out as bronze. It just makes this, like, so much less harder. I don't understand. Okay, so why don't we try to calm down your sister because she is so enraged. We can... Let's see. Where? Where, 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 where? discuss angry mood deep personal conversation I guess but where's like the calm down interaction because that's what we need to do we could teach her about responsibility that's probably a good thing although that might make Princess Anna even more mad she does okay if you're getting reprimanded by your parents the last thing you probably want is for the person that they are trying to make you live up to to try to teach you about responsibility? I don't know. I don't know what kind of person Princess Anna is. She can help her with her homework. Okay, well, we're in the middle of a party, so probably not right now, but that's fine. Okay, Princess Anna is now in the responsibility range, thanks to her sister, even though she's still enraged. Okay, the, there are paparazzi outside. Why don't you ladies go inside? Where are all of our guests? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, okay, finally. Finally, they're arriving. So Princess Alice can say hello to her mother, and she can tell her the great news, because we are going to have a little baby again. This is going to be a really full household. Okay, boast about family. Can we tell her the big news? Brag about dinner party. I don't think Princess Alice is one to brag very much. We can discuss stress mood. Is her mother stressed? Gossip about coworkers. Sent on it. Share big news. There it is. I don't know why it's not like it should be the first thing on there. I want this dress on her. It's going to be really the really tight though when she's pregnant and when she has a giant belly. Okay, so she is going to go talk to her mother, and then when her father and brother get here, she can go talk to them too. And then we can have Princess Cora talk to Prince Edmund. Oh, and speaking of, there is Prince Edmund. So, because they are now dating, so we... Oh, all right, she finally finished her homework. Okay, why don't we do a suave kiss? Why is he uncomfortable? Steamy exchange. They haven't even talked to each other yet. So I guess they really, okay, so he's not uncomfortable anymore. He's flirty now. So let's see. Yep. Boyfriend dating exclusively. Dot, dot, dot. A relationship? Are they saying that because they don't really have that much of a friendship? Probably. That's fine. Queen Isabel has earned $2,000 on her day off. That is just crazy. She didn't even do anything all day and she's earning that much money. Okay, so uh, Princess Alice is going to go talk to her mother. I don't know where her father is or her cousins because they should be here soon we invited them so hopefully they will make it here soon she's telling her mother the great news oh this is really cute her mother's so happy not that she wouldn't be happy because i don't think i've ever seen another reaction other than that one but oh well we'll just say that her mother's like oh my gosh i'm going to be a grandmother i don't even think her mother is an elder yet uh, she's definitely not. Yep. She's just an adult. Um, so we, did we even make a group meal yet? Um, we did make a group meal, but I think, does someone from the party have to make a group meal? Why don't we call people to the meal? I guess. I don't know. Alright, well, we already made a group meal, and I'm, I don't have time to make another one, so they're just going to have to deal with it. So I just put that in her inventory, and then we will bring it up here. What did he even make? Is this like French toast? Oh, meatless mozza. Ooh, that sounds fancy. Okay. Vegetarian safe. So we can call people to the meal. And then it looks like Princess Cora and Prince Edmund, if I can go back, if it will let me. It looks like they were just chatting in the basement in the kitchen. So they are having a good time. And her cousin's here. So we can definitely thank him for coming. Um, and then I don't know where her dad is, but we invited him. So thank him for coming. 
Princess Cora is chatting it up with Prince Edmund. They, yeah, they don't have, like, they're not super great friends or super close, but they're very attracted to each other. So that was the kind of the, that was kind of the thing is I was just, I didn't know if it would be to, try for baby. Oh gosh, I forgot they're adults. Um, I didn't know if it would be too soon for her to start dating Prince Edmund because she had just gotten out of the relationship and it was just a lot of drama with Sir Javin. So I was debating, but they were so attracted to each other that it was kind of hard to not make them start dating. And I don't know, I, they didn't want to be like, they're just very attracted to each other. So if you watch the last episode, you'll see that's how they got together and started dating and everything. So I think Princess Alice has pretty much told everyone that she is pregnant. So this is just kind of nice to have a little get together. Um, I actually have a bit of a surprise for the next episode. So um, King George has been working with Prince, oh, where is it? Prince Jared. So that's not Prince Jared, that's Prince Adrian. He's been working with his nephew, Prince Jared, on discovering this new kingdom. And that is because Prince Jared is very in love with this girl, Nina. And Nina comes from a very poor family and her his parents, they do not approve of him marrying her whatsoever. So Prince Jared has actually been, so he's been working with his uncle, the King, uh, King George, and they were just kind of figuring out what to do. And King George thought the best thing to do would be to kind of make this new kingdom. And what's in it for him is that he has asked Prince Jared um, for his children. He wants his he wants his children to marry Prince Jared's children. Or sorry, oh gosh, he wants King King George wants his grandchildren to marry Prince Jared's children. So basically, he's just wishing like for the best for his lineage, and because that way, then they would be like the king and and queen or whoever it is. Like he wants who whoever it is to be like king and queen. Um, so we will see how that goes, um, and I will just show that whole world to you and everything in the next episode, and I, I think you guys are really going to like it. So I've gotten just a bunch of suggestions from you guys for this, so that's why I decided to do it, and I figured I could incorporate it really well in this as well. So I'm going to end this episode here. In the next episode, as I said, we will discover this new world and I'll give you a tour of everything and then we will have Prince Jared. He's going to have to tell his parents about it. Um, and then we might even get a, another royal wedding soon. So um, Prince Jared hasn't proposed to Nina yet, but he might in the next episode. So you guys will just have to see. So thank you guys again so much for watching. Again, don't forget to subscribe, like, share, comment, any suggestions. Um, and I'm always open to suggestions or other baby names. And I know th I know a few of you have um, commented and given me some good baby names that I love. And I'm probably going to stick with some of them. But it's just nice to have options. So definitely go ahead and do that if you can think of anything. And we will see you guys the next episode.